here's another one right here. Here's another mineral. Kind of looks like algae. See that? Anybody know what that is? Why do you say that? Feel it. Okay, teachers, when the te students assume that teachers know everything, right? Okay, so what I do, and we know we don't know everything, but what I do is when someone asks me that, I flip it back to them. Use some of your vocabularies and just use vocabulary words and tell me some facts about that. Tell me, tell me some adjectives about that. Describe it. Green, that's an adjective. That's another one. How about this one? Rough. Okay? This is a piece of... It is a piece of copper. It's a piece of copper. This is copper. You can find it in the earth. This is how you find it in the earth. But copper, what? There's a good one over here. So you see all the, the descriptive words we got? It was green, it was hard, it was rough, it was metallic, it's kind of a little bit heavy. This is copper. This is how you find it in the earth. And what do we do with copper? Write that down. Copper is the next mineral we're doing. Copper. I'm going to use this pencil right here for that. That's something I did in college, too. I started bringing different colored pencils with me to class when I was taking notes. I sometimes flip. When we're talking about fossils, I'd write them in red. I'm talking about minerals, I'd write them in blue. Something like that. Okay, copper. Okay, copper is a metal, right? Does this look like a metal? No, it looks like a metal. It looks like a It looks like a metal. It looks like a metal. It looks like a It does. It looks like a plant, but it isn't. If we soak this in some kind of, like a Coca-Cola or something, it would all be shiny. What color would it be? I don't have a penny, but you know what a penny looks like, right? It would look like, yeah, it would look, be like copper color. Yes. Okay. Copper, the metal of copper. Oh, here it is right here. God, I had this. This is a scouring pad. Okay. What color is the scouring pad? It's what we call copper color. If you leave the scouring pad out in the weather for a long time, it will turn green. If you clean it up, it'll turn this color. And this is the same color as pennies, right? This is copper, yes? What? Okay, does, does the sun affect the copper to make it green? Fifth graders. Okay, if you leave the copper out in the weather, in the oxygen, in the sun, and the weather, it will change colors. It will turn to green. Copper turns to green. Write that down. Copper rusts. Do you use that term rust? Or do you use the term oxidize? Do you all know the, you all know the difference? What color does rock, copper turn to? It oxidizes to green. So whenever you see most of the time, whenever you see green on a rock or a mineral, in your brain you should say, I know what that is. What would that be? Copper. Copper. Like in Corpus Christi, we have a statue that's got this little green of a horse and stuff. It's got the green lines coming down from the metal. What kind of metal is that made out of? Copper. Okay? Or sometimes gutters on houses, it's just have little green stripes on it. It's made out of copper. That's a clue. When you see green, it's a metal. It's usually copper. And I heard some other term here. What's the largest? Here's another use for copper. Wire. Yes. All the wires in this house, all wires have copper in it. Okay? That's what's copper. That's how you find it in the earth. When you clean it up, it looks like this. Here's another example of how to use it. But what's the largest statue in America? Huh? Statue of Liberty? Is it? Yeah. What's your name? Allison. Allison, come on up, Allison. <clears throat> the Statue of Liberty. What color is the Statue of Liberty? Green. Can you go get my book? It's right over there. Okay, what color is the Statue of Liberty? It's green. Okay, I want you to do, turn around this way. What I want you to do, Allison? Allison, right? What, I want, what color is the Statue of Liberty? Green. Green. So Allison, I want you to pose like the Statue of Liberty. The book's right over there on that table, right over there. It's already open to the page I want. Yes, okay, which one? put your hand straight up, look forward, straight, straight up, look forward, got it? Okay, how's she doing? How's Allison doing? Okay, keep looking up, keep looking straight forward, the Statue of Liberty, the Statue of Liberty always looks forward, straight up like this, how's she doing? 
So what color is the Statue of Liberty? Blue. Green. Green. It's green. It's green, right? So what's Statue of Liberty made out of? Copper. Copper. But what part of the Statue of Liberty is not green? See in this picture right here? Flame. The flame. And this statue is several hundred feet high. Sta Allison, come on, Statue of Liberty. She looks, look this way. Statue of Liberty always looks straight ahead, arms straight up, proud, welcoming people to America. Stick straight ahead. Okay. Okay, so how's she doing? The flame is probably about 250 feet above the ground. Okay, so you can't clean that. So what could that flame, it's not really a flame, is it? It's not a color. It's been there for like 150 years. What color was Allison, what color was the Statue of Liberty when it was first installed? It was this color right here. But the artist, or the artist? The artist who designed the Statue of Liberty knew it was going to turn to green because he'd studied this in science. He knew that. Okay? But he didn't want this to turn to green. No electricity back in those days. There's no light over here. Look how shiny it is. What's the, what's the part? What? Exactly right. That is gold, pure gold. Allison, you're holding pure gold in your hand right there. You can't look at it, you're looking forward, remember? <laughs> like this, okay? She's holding pure gold. That is gold. And what's so special about gold, why that artist used gold in the Statue of Liberty is, I have to put my hands down for this, okay? So gold has a very special property, you ready? Gold never, ever, 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 taking notes, ever, 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 ever will rust. Did you get that? Thanks, Alice. You can sit down there. She did a good job at Statue of Liberty? Yes. Get your notes out because you've got to write this down. Gold. Gold. Never, ever. Ever. Instead of writing, you just go like this. Put nine lines down. Rusts. It'll never, ever, ever rust. In 10,000 years or 100,000 years, when the Statue of Liberty turns into a pile of dust, what color will the dust be? What color will the dust? Green. And what would be right in the middle of that dust pile? The gold torch. Perfect like it was ever made. Gold never, ever rusts. You write that down. That's why we use gold for rings, but I guess I won't go into that. Okay, so did you write that down? Gold never rusts. Y'all taking some good notes? You're taking notes. Don't cram your pages. You want to go to the next one? That's okay. How y'all doing? Okay. But now, this is a mineral from the earth. It's called, what is this called? I'm going to go to the map now. It's what? This is copper. I'm going to show you on this map. This is the geologic map of the United States we are presenting to your school. Okay, a geologic map. Anybody hands up if you've ever heard of a geologic map? You all have heard of it? Okay, <clears throat> usually on a map you're, that you're maybe typically used to seeing, each state is a different color, right? Hmm? But here, instead of each state being a different color, each age of, of, of rocks you find on the earth is a different color. Okay, so this copper that I have in my hand right now was found up here in northern Minnesota. So what color is that right there? Red. The kind of reddish color. So then you go over this chart over here and you try to find that color over here on the chart. It's down here at the bottom. Okay? So you read over here. This tells you how this old, this, this rock right here, this piece of copper is 560 million years old. You are holding a rock. Hold it. 500 million years old. And how do I know that? Because of this geologic map. So the Geological Society, what we're doing is we're presenting maps to schools.